the bottom. Ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We from we got the Cleveland Browns taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. The Browns got a lot of stuff going on inside of their locker room right now. Cleveland Browns are 4-4 four four on the year, 4-4 four four against the spread, while the Cincinnati Bengals 5-3 and three on the year, 4-4 four four against the spread as well. Uh, this line opened up in favor of the Bengals, minus three right now. It's at two and a half. Some spots even got it at minus one. Uh, so depending on where you want to go with on that line, you can ch- kind of check it out. Uh, the line opened up as 45 for the total. Right now, that line is at 40, 47, excuse me. That line is at 47. Uh, injury reports right now for the Browns. Odell Beckham, he's out. He's not going to be there. So you don't have Beckham. You don't have uh, you don't have Landry. Uh, Switzer's out. Johnson the third is questionable. McKinley at defensive end, he's questionable as well. Cockle is questionable. I mean, there's a lot of injury. Uh, Denzel Ward, he's questionable as well. Uh, Peoples Jones is questionable. I know he was out last game, I believe. Green is out. Uh, This Cleveland team got a lot of injuries right now, and plus they got all the internal issues going on. Um, You got the Cincinnati Bengals. Tate, he is questionable for this game. Carmen, the guard, he left last game, and he's questionable as well. And the running back, Evans, is questionable as well. The Cleveland Browns are coming off a 15 to 10 loss against the Pittsburgh Steelers, while the Cincinnati Bengals, like we said earlier, they're coming off a 31 to 34 loss against the New York Jets, who beat them with a backup quarterback. Uh, actual factors for this game: the total hit all under four out of the last six games. They're two and 11 against the spread in the last 13 games, five and one straight up in the last six games against Cincinnati. Four and one against the spread last five games on the road. The total has gone over five out of the last five games when playing on the road against Cincy. And there are six and 14 against the spread last 20 games against the AFC opponent. Cincinnati Bengals, the total has gone under five out of the last seven games. They're four and two straight up in the last six games. The unders overs also hit seven, six out of the last seven, like I explained before. Um, against Cleveland, and it's also hit five. Uh, the unders hit five out of the last seven games at home. They're five and two straight up in the last seven games. We're playing against the AFC, uh, AFC conference opponent, but four and fifteen straight up in the last nineteen games. We're playing against the AFC North division opponent. Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Cleveland Browns. Marlon, how do you feel about this one? Uh, I said this earlier. I think the Bengals have been pe- preparing for this game. I think that's what happened with the Jets. Was so a look ahead for this game right here. Browns are too banged up, man. Just too, really too many injuries going on. You got Baker injured, um, a whole host of injuries that you reeled off. And the main problem I got is offensively, they struggle to score. I mean, defensively, they're good. They're giving up 22. I I didn't mean to cut you off the quarterback from NIU. They did it. They ran a QB draw at the five yard line. He got knocked out. He's unconscious right now. Lombardi got knocked out. Ooh, yeah, head, helmet to helmet. Helmet to helmet. So that's a flag. So that's going to be a flag. I need that. I need that. I need that. I took the uh, I took the teaser. So I got NIU plus nine on my teaser. Anyway, um, just the Browns are too injured. Um, and then the Bengals on the other hand, averaging twenty seven points a game, only giving up twenty. That's a whole touchdown. So I'm going to take the Bengals here on the money line. I just think the Browns are going to struggle to score, which they've been doing. Um, especially no Odell. Running backs banged up, quarterback banged up. They're just too hurt. And like you said, they got other issues alongside with injuries. So I got the Bengals here at money line. Good bounce back game. Entered the division game. Like I said, I believe that the Bengals were looking ahead against that Jets. It was just a perfect trap game for the Jets. So I'm all over the Bengals here. I think they um actually I don't need the money line. Uh, yeah, give me the money line just to play it safe. But I think they cover easily, honestly. I'm right there with you on this one. I like the Bengals' money line as well. It's just too much shit going on with this Browns team with the injuries, and now you got you know you got players' daddies talking shit <laughs> on social media on about social media and shit. about you about know the quarterback. Their son's quarterback of the team instead of you know trying to help him or encourage him or whatever. So uh, you know it's a lot of stuff going on, and, and the crazy part about it is you got players who are on the Browns team right now. Who were was liking Odell Beckham Sr.'s 
um post post about the video of the incomplete uh of, of showing uh, you know what's the name baker mayfield's flaw so it's it's not a good atmosphere right now you know odell's trying to you know get out of that that uh that get out of cleveland and a lot of guys you know especially brothers on the team they fuck with odell so you know and they can see it you know i mean it's a part of the game man when you when you when you're not winning games that you're supposed to be winning the first person you point to outside of the coaching staff is your quarterback you know what i'm saying so i'm right there with you i like the browns uh excuse me the Bengals on the money line for this one as well so Bottom. Ain't no problems, we gon' make a way Got no coach on the field, but we making plays Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay We from the